very recently i have downloaded an application into my pc so in this video i'll be teaching you how to fix the two different issue the very first thing is let me show you by installing this application i got the error message like setup failed there are several reasons behind the setup failed error you guys don't uh, look into the detail of the error the solution for the error reason for the error is right below that this particular application can only be installed on windows xp service pack 1 that too also in a 64 bit operating system if you have a 62 bit operating system installed into your pc if your pc is a 64 bit it supports 64 bit then you can install this application that too also only into the xp service pack 1 that is why I'm getting this set of failed error message. There are different other reasons why we'll be getting the set of failed error message. So just try to look just below that you will have the details about the error, why you're getting that error and how to fix that. Next thing is, I want to tell you about this particular thing. Sometimes you'll be getting the pop-up message, but uh, error message will pop up into your PC when you try to install any application. This app can't run on your PC. And you'll get to be getting this uh, pop-up error message because of the version mismatch. Whether your PC is a 32-bit or a 64-bit. If you're trying to install 32-bit of application into the 64-bit of PC, you can install it. But if you are trying to install the 64 bit of application into a 32 bit of PC, you cannot install. The higher version uh, can accept the lower version and the same version. You can for the 64 bit of operating system, you can install both 32 bit and 64 bit application. But for 32 bit of operating system, if your PC is a 32 bit, you have installed the 32 bit of operating system. You cannot uh, install both 64-bit uh, and 32-bit of any kinds of application. But you can only install the 32-bit of applications. So how do you check whether your PC is a 32-bit or a 64-bit? If you are getting this particular error message in your PC, the very first thing is you're going to hold the Windows key in your keyboard and R. And then you're going to type msinfo32 you can see let me show you here so we're going to type this msinfo32 and then click on ok you'll get this uh, system information you can see it is x86 x86 means it is a x86 based pc that means it is a 32 bit pc the x64 means 64 bit pc so this PC cannot, can, this application can be installed in Windows XP Service Pack 1 and only and only in 64-bit of operating system, 64-bit based PC, mine is 32-bit because it is not x64, it is x86. So in that case, you're going to download the another application. You're going to type the application name as it is into the Google search. And then you're going to mention whether you want the application for x64 or x86. I want the application for x86. So I'll manually download the x86 version of application. So you can see x86 versions of applications. I'll click on download and I'll download it. I'll open the download page and you can see it's I've downloaded twice. Download it twice. So now, now I'll be just installing it. And here I did not get any kinds of error message. You can see setup successful. I did not get setup failed error and I did not even get this particular error. This app can't run on your PC. Sometime after downloading an application, give a right click on it and then you're going to go to properties and you click on compatibility. What you're going to do is click on 
run the program in a compatibility mode for you're going to choose the highest version whether if you, uh, currently the highest version is windows 8 if there are uh, there is a windows 10 or a windows 11 mentioned you can choose the <coughs> possible highest version if you're trying to in install this application in a lowest version for windows 7 or a xp or a windows vista you're going to choose that one either it needs to be exact match or the highest version currently i'm using a uh, windows 10 and windows 11 so i'll choose the highest one if i was using the windows xp or a uh, windows vista or a uh, windows 7 or a uh, windows 8 i would choose exact operating system since i'm using a uh, windows 10 and a uh, windows 11 and i do not have that particular over here so i'll choose the highest one and then i'll click on apply one more thing you can do is always run the program as an administrator click on apply now it will all when you click on it it will always run as an administrator sometimes this will cause the problem click on run compatibility troubleshooter sometime you're gonna do this also this will detect for issue if there are any kinds of issue now you're gonna choose try recommended setting so this particular applications click on test the program So it is already installed it is asking me to modify and all so that means the application is working fine i can repair it if i want to repair it if there is any kinds of error okay one or monitor is causing the problems on a specified error so again i'm getting the set of failed error so the error is unspecified over here sometime. So what are you going to do? In this case, close it, click on next. It's fixed, fine. Click on close. Since I've already applied after every changes, now I'll click on OK. And manually, I'll try to install this application now. This application is already installed so in order to install it you have to let me delete this this is a twice so in order to install this application you have to uninstall again so you can see here i have applications so in order to ch check that again hold the windows key and r key and you're going to type the command appwis.cpl you can see it let me show you it's over here sorry appwiz.cpl and then click on ok what you're going to see over here is already installed so in order to check that application let me uninstall uninstall close now i can install it now you can see the application is working fine and i can install successfully so you don't have to go to the properties and make all these changes if your application is working fine you can see unspecified error so sometimes the error occurs like this it's on an unspecified error it's not installing what you're going to do is just close everything and restart your pc so what i was telling you every time you don't have to go to the properties and do all those changes if you can install the application the very first time after downloading um, your matching version because i've downloaded the matching version x86 person and you can see i have uninstalled uninst uh, the application successfully again i uninstalled it and when i was trying to install it uh, i got this error message so what i'll do is refresh everything before i uninstall this let me try installing it again i have closed everything i have refreshed it modify setup why it is asking me to modify setup because it is already installed i got the message like setup failed let me check it windows r appwiz.cpl i got the message like setup failed but application is already installed so sometimes it happens like this. 
if uh, any error occurs you can restart your pc and in, try to install again if any if a still error occurs try to update your pc if any update is available restart your pc and try to install again since it is successfully installed again when i try to install it again you can see it is asking me to modify setup because it is already installed so all these were the possible steps that you could follow in order to fix this issue if any kinds of issue occurs just leave in the comment section if i see it i'll try to forward you with the new videos